welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the 12th Vikings episode from season 5. This is the second episode that came out this year uh, and last week was already a very good episode and I'm very excited about what this season is going to bring and I just like the fact that they're in England now and I would just love to see this storyline continue uh, because I always like the storyline from Alfred and that he's Atelstan's son. I also really thought that uh, the storyline of his grandfather was always really exciting because he was kind of a strange man but that made him really interesting and i also just really like judith so i'm excited for the storyline and uh, to see uh, how they are going to meet what's going to happen uh, so yeah let's just watch i know i've uh, played games with him when i was a boy oh my god why have they come here how are you gonna explain that I offered them safe passage. Why did you decide to spare me again? Does it amuse you to see me suffer? So actually he wants to die? What can I do for these people? Yeah, well of course he feels guilty. So hard to make them see. Because he but promised them lying. something and now they don't get it. Since when are those children there? I have every intention of honoring my grandfather's pledges, but first you must demonstrate your worth and your loyalty to our cause in battle. We have a legal right to that land. We accept your offer. I am glad. I believe you have two young children with you. Let us have a care to them also. Thank you, Lord King. Father King Lockers and Torvi are like really um, thankful. And you and Bjorn are like, what the fuck are you doing? My people! My dear people! What is he doing? I have chosen this <laughs> woman to be my new wife. Her name is Freitis, and soon you will all know her as your new queen of Katika. <laughs> That's so random, they must be like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is all about the kinship. He takes a wife, he uses her hair. And then, in his eyes, Katika is his forever. A good plan, except for one thing. What thing? He can't produce exactly. He is burnless. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow, I first I love. love. I think it's your bedtime, good sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You insult the gods. What? The gods love me. I know that. Must be awkward. I will have your child, a son, and he too will be a god like you. She's a weird girl. The thing is, I don't think Ivor needs a normal girl because he's crazy and. That wouldn't fit with him. And now she will get pregnant because she drank his blood. My lord Cuthred. Denied. How strange it is. But at least my struggles are spiritual. Is he gonna kill him? I know you. No, of course not. He wouldn't prove anything like that. Being the prince of the church. I'm going to be honest with you, I never really liked Bishop Haymond. Because first of all, I mean, it's cool that he's like this fighter and stuff. But the way he like acts is a little weird and so cold-blooded. And you don't really get a connection with him, I think that's the thing. And then I just don't like that he's with Lagerta. I just don't like that. <laughs> She's actually one of the only nice persons there to him. Oh my god. So that's how she's gonna get the child. They want to kill him. Who do they want to kill? They want to kill Alfred. Oh. They want to kill the king. Princess Elspeth. My lady, welcome to Wessex. Oh, is the that the wife she found for him? My grandfather had no authority to grant you any land. 
He had already relinquished the throne to my father, who was crowned here a few days before you arrived. Oh yeah, yeah, that was it. That was so smart of him. Actually, Bjorn should be happy that he... So, you can sail it over to us, and you can practice those lights right now. He just said what he wanted. Theory. Yes, I could. There are important people here who do not want me to grant lands to those who in the past have attacked and raided us. I'm being more honest with you than you've any right to expect. You have thrown yourself upon my mercy. So do not presume anymore upon my charity. When I can, I will grant you that land. I mean, Bjorn should be happy that he's actually thinking about still giving them that land. I mean, his grandfather lied to them. So they actually have no right to that land at all. And he's only asking them to prove that he can trust them and that they, well, fight for him. And then I'm like, you can't go back home because Ivor has everything there. What else can you do? Why would this be such a bad deal? And they would get the land after all then. Awkward. So you are Manel's daughter. The Northmen were pressing us back. He sacrificed himself for us. But are these not Northmen? Oh, shit. Here at your court. The sons of King Ragnar Lothbrok, the most famous of all Northmen. On our side, you prepared to fight for us. Who is that? Beyond Ironside. I have heard tales of him. <laughs> I believe that Princess is interested in the Vikings. Why do I watch these pagans? I am curious to see a woman fighting eat for you as a man. <laughs> I have heard of these so called shield maidens. I did not believe they really existed. It is not proper or decent for women to fight. I honestly would be her if I like grew up there. I would be like, oh my god, a woman who fight, I want that too. Uh oh. Yeah. No, he's never gonna get his name back. You asked to see me. <laughs> yes. Please. Sit. You could publicly renounce your pagan gods and be baptized <laughs> as a Christian. I don't think that's going to happen. I can't imagine Bjorn would ever agree to that. No. I'm not talking about Bjorn, but about you. <sighs> Ragnar talked to me when I was a boy. He talked about your people, my people, sharing the land. He told my grandfather that he no longer believed in your gods. That is not true. Yeah, that must be my painful to hear. My grandfather told me everything. He loved your father. I know that. Your father's death broke him. Mm. Destroyed him. It is true. His grandfather and his father were actually like really good friends. In certain circumstances. But yeah. I am a child. Aww. I never thought I'd hear him say that. Oh my god! such a creepy bitch but it was so good to, to see him feel like that to be happy to even cry for I happiness i always felt like fitzerg is like the dumb one like not that he's actually dumb but just yeah i don't know <laughs> he just comes over like that oh what is she doing again i don't trust that bitch i saw her the queen of Kertigat. is she fucking serious is she is jealous she again? Kind. Is she gonna use him now? Yes. Like I said, Fitzgerald is actually so, like the person you kill Ivar, to believe her. And I will be queen. And everything will be alright. Oh, girl. Don't let me down. You have to do it. Please, my son. I'm not mad. No, sure. Uh, just. Oh. 
That's so creepy, man. Am I supposed to be married? I think she's more interested in them. She's very pretty uh, though. He's not kind. I don't think it's like he doesn't want to be kind. It's more like he's... Yeah, in my side, he's still just a boy and doesn't really know what he's doing or what he has to do. Oh, you're on Iron side. Oh, yeah. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Me trying to flirt with anyone. <laughs> First drawing their attention and then saying, Go away! <laughs> oh god. Making the beast with two backs. What? I shouldn't be here. Why not? Yet you are. God will punish me. My God will punish you. I like knew this from her first look at him. Like Alfred sat next to her but she kept staring at Bjorn. Who are you? Probably sent by Ivar. Oh my god. Oh my god. Matt McGrath. Oh my god. And this is real, I suppose. Not another hallucination or anything from her. Damn! Well, that was my grandma. Yeah, now you're fucked. I mean, is it bad that I also, like, don't really care at all, like, what happens to him? I just don't find his character interesting. And I mean, he must be a very interesting character if you know him and... Yeah, just not my type of character. You have no true faith. You touch it for just... Kill Haymond. He's like a fucking good warrior. He never stood a chance. In the beginning I was like, okay, uh, not much is happening. And then later it got really exciting. So yeah, it was a nice episode. I mean, some people died. Magrat died. Um, well, I don't like Magrat. I don't think most of you <laughs> like Magrat. But like I said last time, I forgot a bit what she did. So I wasn't as mad at her as I used to be. But yeah, I remember now that she tried to put Uba against Bjorn. Only so she could be queen. And that she had those mad plans and she's just crazy. I honestly first thought that Ivor's new wife like really killed him. Because well she seemed really weird and I don't know for some reason I I think she could love Ivor. But on the other hand she seems really smart. And a character like her seems more like... Yeah how do you say that? Like she she's really good at taking care of herself. And I thought okay but you know Ivor is well also kind of crazy and he likes killing people so are you going to manipulate him by this or are you going to kill him or do you just really love him i mean that's um yeah that's the question i actually think she she really cares for him i mean we've seen that now but yeah you never know and she actually wants to give him a child and she well is doing that now not actually his child but hey who cares who will find out also king alfred I, I just like him. He's still so young, but he's doing his best to be a good king. But he's not as hard as other kings. Like, he's not... He's at least giving them a chance. I mean, he's giving Bjorn, Uba, Lagerta and Torvi a chance to prove themselves. And to just let them walk around free there and uh, just do whatever they want. To just trust them like that. I'm, I think that's already... A big thing and I don't really like that Bjorn is behaving like that but hey that's also his character and he doesn't really trust it I get that too but it's also just a bit annoying because I actually trust Alfred and uh, Lagerta does uh, I think Torvi does I mean he said that he would take care of her children I think that's also just a big thing to hear as a mother and Uba is willing to well think about what he's saying but Bjorn is just being so stubborn and he just doesn't want to trust him and I don't think it's really necessary I I get that you can't just trust each other you're you come from totally different worlds they have been in a war since like forever but I always find it really sad that um Alfred's grandfather and Ragnar 
uh, they were actually like good buddies in the end and it's so sad that nobody actually got proof of that and that they wanted to yeah i don't think i don't really remember did they want to work together well they had plans but i think they just knew it was yeah maybe impossible or that yeah, and they were old so that it was not just fit for them to to do this but i just know that they wouldn't want their children to fight each other and even though ragnar was a bit weird in the end and oh i totally forgot his name what was it of course Egbert. i looked it up how could i forget that but i just find it sad because i love those scenes between ragnar and Egbert, and yeah it was just such a pleasure to watch that and to just see them um becoming more understanding, actually kind of becoming friends. It was so good to see that for me. And it's so sad that there's nothing left of that. And yeah, like I said, that makes me a little sad. Also, they're actually, they're looking for trouble because Lagerta is already having sex with uh, Bishop Heyman there. And people see it. And Bjorn is already having sex with um, Alfred's, well, meant to be wife. <laughs> So yeah, of course, uh, those things are gonna bring some trouble too. But Heyman killed that dude now. So um, yeah, apart from him, only the dude who saw it know, knew it. There must come some trouble. I'm quite sure of that. Let me see. Is that all I wanted to say? I've like talked a lot about different things to each other. But uh, I hope you still understand what I'm talking about. I'm very tired. And always when I'm very tired, I forget a lot of English words. And I just want to say things but i don't know how and i can't really explain what i mean so that's yeah that's a little uh look there you have it what is it it's a little sad bad i don't know <laughs> yeah i don't know i just can't find the word so i'm going to stop talking now um but yeah i think i i said enough about the episode and i really like the episode like i said in the beginning i thought okay this is going to be a slow episode lots of talking we're not going to see much exciting things but that was not true we saw a lot of um nice scenes yeah things that were interesting fun to watch and yeah i just liked that about the episode it had a lot of different things you always get that floki storyline in between and don't get me wrong i love floki but it's like the storyline keeps being at the same point so it's just not that interesting even though i really want to know how it's going to end that storyline what is going to happen are they finally going to see those gods is something going to happen or is it just going to stay like that at the moment that storyline is just really boring and every time when it comes on it's just like it interrupts the main storyline and yeah that's a little sad uh, for the rest, did you like my reaction? Then please leave a like, subscribe and make sure to watch next week. Bye!